Tonight, on Burton's Kitchen, we're going to be making the old Russian favorite, stroganoff. Enjoy! First things first, we need to chop our onion up. Now that our onion's all chopped up, we're going to want to get our skillet and fry our hamburger meat. Turn your oven on, open your hamburger, and just throw it in the skillet. When I'm cooking hamburger, I like to keep it low and slow. While frying your hamburger, find yourself a fork and you can mash up your hamburger and it keeps you from having bigger chunks of meat in your stroganoff. When you notice that your meat's starting to brown, go ahead and put some of your onions in there. This will give us a good taste. Cook it into the meat, you know. At this point, I'll also throw some pepper in there. Because I'm a pepper guy, like I've stated in previous videos. Just give that a nice little mix. Next, we're going to take our block of Philadelphia cream cheese and block it up into eight separate blocks. Right now we're going to bring a large cooker of water to a boil for our no egg noodles. But while we're waiting we're going to start on some of the other ingredients that go into the stroganoff. Next we're going to combine a whole thing of 16 ounce daisy sour cream. Two cans of cream of onion soup. Two cans of golden mushroom soup. A whole can of pieces and stems mushroom. Drained, of course. And finally, all eight of our cream cheese blocks. I'm going to let that cook until everything is melted together and looks smooth. I'm going to add a couple things of water to these condensed soup cans too, maybe to make it a little less thick. As your water is starting to boil, add a little bit of salt to it. Once your water's come to a good boil, it's time to put your noodles in. Just add them slowly, just like this. While they're cooking, we'll stir occasionally, not to overcook them, but you want them on there for a good seven, eight minutes. But keep checking them. Now that our pasta's done cooking, we're gonna take that out of the colander, since it's already been drained, and we're going to put it back in the cooker that we just used. We also took it off of heat while we're letting the rest of our sauce cook. Your sauce should start to get really creamy and all the lumps should be going out of it. Except for the uh, mushrooms, of course. While you're still waiting on your sauce to cook, you can take the hamburger that we fixed earlier and just go ahead and mix it with your noodles. Just give it a really good mixing up. And what you spill, the dog can eat. And now we're just going to wait for our sauce for a few more minutes. Once your sauce starts to look like this and boil a little, it's almost ready. About the time that you start burning your tongue on the spoon, that's when you need to mix it with your hamburger and pasta mix. 
Now that my sauce is ready, I'm going to go ahead and mix that with my pasta and hamburger. Just pour the whole thing in here. Be careful not to splatter it everywhere like I am. Well, maybe not the whole thing, but most of it. And we'll mix as needed. Like you really don't want it too watery. This is about to look perfect. I might put a little more, but I'm not going to put a whole lot more. Now you too can make strong enough for all your comrades. Yeah? Yeah, das ist gut, Fräulein. That's actually German. But whatever. Bon appetit. <laughs>